want to do another quick review here. It's uh, actually a lot of people consider it to be a cheap gun, and and it is. It's very inexpensive. It's the uh, American Heritage Rough Rider. This is a uh, 22 caliber. I have the uh, 22 Magnum cylinder in here. Uh, it's got some nice features for the gun. Uh, like I said, this this gun right here is is basically uh, under $200. Uh, the finish is not not really good. Uh, basically, I believe this is aluminum, and it's uh, kind of like a painted finish. Uh, I intend to duracoat this gun, uh, and probably do that in a, a future video. Uh, some of the things I like about the gun, other than basically the old six shooter, you know, triple click uh, hammer, uh, is uh, the safety feature. You have a that's off safety. It shows uh, I don't know if you can see it, but you see the red dot, uh, and it's ready to fire actually can put it on safety and it won't fire it actually blocks the hammer from going forward far enough to set the gun off now of course you don't rely on any any safety to uh, any degree you always treat a gun as though it's loaded and ready to fire uh, this is a very very great gun to shoot I, I get a hoot out of it every time I every time I go out and shoot uh, really cheap you can put the uh, the uh, 22 uh, long rifle which you can shoot short so any any form of 22 in it uh, you can tell the cylinders because you can see the flutes here in the uh, sides of the cylinder and the magnum cylinder has no flutes in it at all it's, it's just smooth bore um, to take and uh, pull the change it out drop that down you've got a uh, lever here I mean, or actually a button push that and you pull the center pin out completely remove it all right and the cylinder basically drops out the other side it's uh, simple as that uh, it's really really easy to do it's a six shot uh, of course, it's a six shooter. Uh, just drop the uh, the other cylinder in there, whichever one that you're you're going to. Take your uh, cylinder pin, start it back in, push the button, go all the way back. Be sure to push it forward and try and pull back out again to make sure it's locked into place. And there you have a quick uh, quick change out. Doesn't take uh, take much time. It's uh, real simple and easy to do. Uh, and again, like I said, this, this gun is a real hoot to shoot. I, I love shooting this gun. And uh, like I said, I'm going to Duracoat it. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what color or how or what I'm going to go about, but I've got several different colors to play with, and so I'll do something. Uh, the frame fit is not 100%. Uh, it's kind of smooth-edged here, but then the bottom portion of the frame is, is sticking out a bit here, and I think I'll, I'll probably machine that down when I get ready to Duracoat. Uh, but like I said, I mean, it's a very inexpensive gun, cheap, uh, and in some ways cheaply made, in some ways not. Uh, but it's well worth the $200 to, to play around with this gun. Uh, I've probably fired, I hadn't, I hadn't, not near as much as I want to, but I've probably fired, uh, I don't know, uh, 500 rounds through it. Not a lot, very little, to be honest with you. Um, uh, it's a great gun. I mean, I can't say enough enough about it. it comes with actually real wood grips, um, and, and they're they're fitted surprisingly well. There's a little bit of, of overhang in some places, but it fits your hand well. Just shoots great. Um, if you're wanting to uh, unload it after firing, you pull it back. There's a slight cock. Then the second one locks the hammer in 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 the second cock position, or half cock. Open this up, and then. Basically, you rotate the cylinder, and you'll push the uh, ejection rod. That right there, eject, eject the casing. Each one in, in line. And uh, it's just simple as that. Uh, the sights, uh, not sure if you can really, really make that out very well. Uh, the sights are, are very, very small, uh, hard to see. Uh, but with a little practice, you can fire pretty accurate with it. Uh, Believe this or not, uh, I was in the field and I just basically picked out a, a little uh, brush pile, some weeds that was taller than everything else in the field, about that tall, about that big around. And uh, after about two or three shots, and, I, and I'm saying that the, the brush pile was probably 100, 100 yards out, and after a couple of shots, you know, to get my windage and everything, I could take this gun and I could, I could blow dirt up right there at the brush pile every single time. Um, as far as shooting it at a target, I haven't really shot it at that distance, but I'm pretty sure it'll be just as uh, just as accurate. 
I've set out to uh, about 50 yards uh, with a small uh, uh, gong type target and you know managed to ring it several times uh, with this. Uh, the gongs were about, I don't know, the plates were possibly three inches in diameter. Uh, anyway, I mean it's a great gun. I recommend you get one if you want to plink around and play. Uh, loading is does not take that long. It's not that time consuming. Uh, you only have six six shots, but uh, it, it shoots great and it's fun. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, comment, let me know, and I'll continue to do reviews on uh, guns as they come in. Uh, that's all. Thank you for viewing.